Hey everybody, Mark here at 8 Minute Axe. Today I'm gonna to talk about the five biggest mistakes that guitar players make that will slow down your progress and how to fix them. If you play guitar or any instrument for that matter, I think this video is really gonna resonate with you. And I'd be surprised if you don't shake your head at a few of these, if not all of these, and say, yep, I've done that. I've made all of these mistakes multiple times. And while I think it's important for us to be able to laugh at ourselves and not take ourselves too seriously, here's the thing. All of these mistakes can be big time progress killers. And by being honest with yourself and identifying with the mistakes you're making and setting out to correct them will significantly improve your play. I guarantee it. Before we get started, I just wanna remind you, if you haven't yet, don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Every month I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description below. Okay, let's jump into it. Mistake number one, comparing yourself to other players. When I was 16, it was reasonable and maybe even attainable to be the best player on my street or in my grade or even in my high school. But in the age of YouTube and Facebook, every guitar player in the world is just a click away. If you compare yourself to other players, you will get discouraged. I mean, I've seen four-year-olds play Eruption note for note. Every day somebody sends me a new video leading with, you're not gonna believe this. And most of the time they're right. I could spend all day listing all the ridiculously good players out there and not even scratch the surface. Learn to stay in your lane, aspire to be the best player you can be, and maximize your practice time. Mistake number two, focusing on gear instead of practicing. Now, if you didn't relate to the first one, I'm sure you can relate to this one. If I just get the Yamaha Revstar, I know I'll sound just like Matteo Mancuso. Yeah, right. Musicians are notorious for having a bad case of gas. That's gear acquisition syndrome, for you unfamiliar with the term. I've been especially bad about this lately. When my wife asks, how many guitars do you need? Exactly one more than I have right now. Think about it. How many hours last week did you spend browsing Reverb or Facebook Marketplace, trying to dial in the perfect tone on your new pedal or modeler, or watching 50 reviews of a piece of gear that you have your eye on? First of all, don't watch manufacturer gear demos. Do you think they're really gonna put out a video that makes their new line of guitars sound like crap? I mean, Justin Johnson can make this guitar sound good. The next time you find yourself browsing for gear or fiddling with a pedal, check yourself, grab the nearest guitar, and put in 30 minutes of quality practice. Mistake number three, trying to learn something that's far beyond your current skill level. Now I'm all about challenging yourself. I try to challenge every one of my students every week. But if you can barely pick a three note per string major scale at 120 BPM, why are you attempting to play the intro to Cliffs of Dover? Last week, one of my buddies commented, boy, the intro to Johnny B. Good is much harder than it looks. I must have put 50 hours into it and I still don't have it down. Now this guy has a job and a family and I know his practice time is limited. Think how much he could have improved with 50 hours of quality practice instead of spending hours and hours trying to get down something that just wasn't feasible based on his current skill level. One of the biggest benefits of working with a quality teacher is that ideally you will continue to be challenged appropriately and won't squander your precious practice time. Okay, mistake number four, not learning the entire song. There's a certain satisfaction that comes with being able to perform a song in its entirety. Whether you're playing along with your favorite tune, doing your first open mic, or you're sitting around the campfire and someone passes you the guitar and says, your turn, you wanna be able to play a whole song. Now set attainable goals. Learn songs that allow you the opportunity to play the entire thing. My favorite band when I was a kid was Rush, and I can tell you exactly how many Rush songs I could play from beginning to end. None. When someone handed me a guitar and said, play something, after busting out the riff to Limelight and a passage to Bangkok, I had nothing. Now there are a lot of songs that only have three or four chords, but have a challenging solo. That's okay, just learn the rhythm part behind the solo, but learn the whole song. Once you get the sense of satisfaction of completing an entire song, I guarantee your attitude will be, what's next? The next time you pick up your guitar to practice, challenge yourself to learn whatever song you're working on from beginning to end. All right, mistake number five, playing the same five songs over and over. I can't tell you how many guitar players I know that play the same five songs every time they pick up a guitar. They got so comfortable playing their favorite five, all the other songs they knew faded out of memory. Like anything else in life, if you wanna get better at something, you have to break out of your comfort zone. Since most rock and pop songs 
contain only three or four chords? If you know how to play five songs, there are literally a thousand other songs that you can easily learn to play. Set a goal of learning one new song every week. This will keep your playing fresh and exciting, and you'll be more likely to pick up the guitar when you have something new and different to play. All right, that's all I've got for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and if there's a mistake that you used to make or that you're still making that you feel is holding you back, please share it in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, and if you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Most importantly though, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.